of the camber on that. Insane camber. 930 horsepower coming out of a Golf Golf Mark 7. I mean, highly, highly, highly modified cars. You can just, you can. It's so obvious that an insane amount of money has been spent on all these cars. Oh, you join me on a very horrible day, actually. Hopefully, it brightened up later. But if you can't tell by the title or the thumbnail, it is the 12th of March. Sunday the 12th of March, which means today is the day of the Ultimate Dubs Volkswagen Audi Group Festival. Now it's meant to be, I think, one of the biggest in, in the country, if not Europe. And well, yeah, I'm going back to the house now to meet my mate who's meeting me at my house. And we're going to drive up in convoy with my brother and his girlfriend and possibly my other brother as well. In his uh, in his polo, he was a bit apprehensive about whether his polo would make it, but uh, I mean, a kind of a support vehicle. It's going to be so insane! I can't wait to see all these insanely like modified, slammed. Just ah! welcome back to break it till you make it. you want it to just start it didn't that's, start this morning that's so funny i got in it went that's absolutely <laughs> hilarious anyway that's good that's like the implies of the keyboard <laughs> to your front door like you know it, it should do it but i um right where am i going now oh, third exit just arrived at Telford International Centre where the Ultimate Dub Show is. Oh look, you can always already see some. We're with, we're with them. Alright. We are with them. No, you're not coming in! We're not coming in! So um, there's a bridge, you know what that means? Gonna be that knob. Gonna do it. Gonna do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we've had to park quite far away, but we've walked to the venue now, and we're just gonna go and gotta buy our tickets on the gate. <laughs> I can hear something spicy in the in the car park. And oh. Oh. Well, can't wait to see what's uh So all, all we've done so far is just walk around this first car park and it's just full of like insanely modded obviously Volkswagen Audi group cars. But this so far I can take precedent from this car to sort of do to my car these lights on the front. Super clean Xenons, if you can see that there. And also, one feature that I really love is actually in the, ste the steering wheel is a Mark 7 GTI steering wheel from a uh, Mark 7 Golf, I think. I mean, the paint, the paint's just so clean. Leaves a lot to desire about my car, but I'm, I'm sure with a bit of time and effort and a bit of love and care, I can do the same kind of result for my car. And the, I mean, the aim is eventually next year, hopefully, Maybe my car will be here on display. Oh, it's just awesome. Every, all of these cars are just. Oh, I mean, I've said on previous previous videos, I just love the Mark IV. Though. 
that. It's just a stunning, stunning car. Just, just walked into a, a sea of like 80s, 80s Volkswagen. There's a really nice jet there, Volkswagen Golf uh, Cabrio, Golf CL. Uh, two more Cabrios as well. I mean, look at it behind me. It's just 80s Volkswagen galore. Oh, a really nice E21 BMW E21. I'm gonna have to go and look at that. Yeah, it's kind of like a like more of a car meet in the car parks. But I'm not sure if when we go inside, it'll be more sort of showy. And there's loads and loads of Mark IVs. And oh, I wonder if that's a 1.8T Bora. I do love the Bora with the back wing on the on the back. But I do love a chassis mount style wing. And just in front of me is quite insane Audi A1 with a chassis mount wing. I, oh my god. Oh jeez. There's so many like rare cars and even. Even like up GTIs with that have been tuned with all forge uh, intercoolers and charge pipes and I mean that's really cool. I do much prefer the twin exit tailpipe in the centre of the Lupos rather than some of these that have the centre exit. I wonder if I can find one now. There's there's one right there. Oh, there like that. I much prefer that style I think I think that's what I need oh look how DIY it is oh I, that look I mean there's I could probably hopefully do that a little bit better than that's been done but that's really cool got a mini uh, mini model of the car I need to get a model of my car to go in the in the back or something. Been here for about 40 minutes already and we haven't even gone inside the venue yet. We've just been looking around the car parks. I mean there's some insane builds in the car park so I'm eager to see what's in the actual venue that we have to uh, pay for but oh I can already see some amazing amazing pieces through the door. Just, I just, I don't know where to look. I don't know where to look. We've just joined the queue to get into the actual event, and because I'm an idiot, I bought, I went on to buy the tickets a day after I should have done, so we weren't able to get the fast track tickets, which were actually about three pound fifty cheaper anyway. But no stress, because we've got all more, all more time to get excited about what's inside. I mean, we've been, we've already been teased by Audis and all the, those VW stuff that were back there. But, you know, I expect that everything else is inside is a lot more, a lot more special and pristine. And there are some vendors in there as well. That's insanely huge intake. You can really appreciate the I guess the power. Um, set seven hundred. So max. So it's got max power at clutch, nine hundred and thirty. Oh. Nine hundred and thirty horsepower coming out of a Golf Golf Mark Seven. Cheap. Uh, sorry. Thank you. Thank you. 
Thanks. Bass that's coming from whatever it is. I don't know if it's that van or the or the Audi uh, that's just behind it, but the my my whole head was shaking. I just it's insane. And oh, there's so many nice Golf R32 there. Oh, lovely. Hey, those are really cool. Those are awesome. There's just ID Buzz just by here, which I haven't seen in person yet at any any shows. That's really cool to see because they've only just been released. All the press releases and stuff like that have only just been released, I'm pretty sure. But that's really cool to see it in person. I'm quite jealous of that. I don't know whether, whether I got that or not. I'm quite jealous of that camera rig that he had. This is a cool colour. The, it's almost PTS Ruby Star. Now these arches, if I could show you around this way, they've kind of been like rolled they, they, they're like really really rolled I mean that must have been welded and, and re uh, sort of done by a proper body shop they look like they're they've kind of been welded to the up to the arch and then repainted it's got air ride in the back obviously it wouldn't be that low without without air ride that's like slammed right on the floor Bentley caps I've just spotted a R32 Golf. Let's go and have a look. I'm guessing by the fact that the engine has the uh, R logos on it, it's probably Golf R engine. That I, I imagine that is well, what 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 those engines they're capable of producing ludicrous horsepower like that in a. R32 it would be insane. I mean, it's a cool feature to have a just pop up the bonnet. Oh, yeah, 400 horsepower Golf R engine. <laughs> there we are. I've just noticed that the engine in this this magenta coloured uh, Lupo is an R32 engine that should be in the R32 that's behind you. Look at the camber on that. Insane camber. That fitment also is really. So close, so so close. The, the size of that turbo is ridiculous. Absolutely love the interior in this. The LF performance buttons there and the ridiculous gear shifting. What's the name of the style? Boshuzoku. I might have got that pronunciation wrong, but they've got the ridiculous pointy exhaust at the back and the little heart-shaped toe strap thing and. Uh, oh, and the uh, Japanese JDM kind of number plate. But one thing that I am a little bit more interested in is this rear seat delete. I'm a sucker for a rear seat delete. I love it. It's done really nicely. I'm not not quite sure about the green. I reckon my car would look really really cool with a maybe not a roll cage, but a rear seat delete certainly. I love the I love the sort of racing racing strap style. The size of these acrophobic tips are insane. I, wonder. I do love the rotiform wheels. I don't think I've ever seen any more rotiform wheels in one venue before. They do look really, really good. So I, it's, it's quite funny, as you can see behind me, there's actually a Ferrari 250. It's quite funny, as being as we're at a Volkswagen Audi Group enthusiast show, it's quite funny watching all the people who clearly don't have a clue what it is just walk straight past it. Got to the Auto Finesse stand with these three insane Volkswagen Caddy, Mark 1 Caddies that have all been, I, I mean, see for yourself. an awesome, awesome bike. It's from a company called Ruckstyle UK, I think, who have built the bike for Auto Finesse. Now, it's based on a Honda Zuma, and, I mean, 
they just do all sorts of JDM, all sorts of shenanigans to it to make it the most insane bike ever. I think if once I get my license, I think that's one of the bikes that I'll be looking at to buy. Look at this on the Maguire stand. Another car in that magenta, like sort of purpley, purple colour. This Macan is really, really nice. I love those massive rotiform wheels. What are they like? 22, 21, 22 inch wheels. That looks insanely, insanely good on a Macan. I've just found an awesome BMW Z uh, Toyota Supra. Now we're on the LF performance stand and it's full of just some insane, awesome cars. Now just here is a Z3M Coupe, which, I mean, they look really cool without being slammed on air ride, but I mean, look how, look how good it looks like, as it is there, slammed right to the floor. And everything else on this stand is also insane. I know I say the word insane a lot, but it's the only word that I can think of to use. It describes all these cars perfectly. Now I think I've managed to find my favourite car so far. Now, wouldn't take a genius to guess that it's a Mark IV Golf. It's got awesome bucket seats, got Audi R8 steering wheel, it's got mad camber. I think it's because they got the booster seat in there. I'm not sure if their seat's from like a T5 or something like that. I, maybe I'm being stupid because maybe they wouldn't fit in the Mark IV. But they've also got these, the Two, two JL audio speakers which are mounted beneath two V air compressors to service the air ride. Air ride. I mean, it's an R32, but it hasn't got the R32 engine. It's got a BAM engine from the Audi TT or the later Mark I Audi S3s. I like the fact that the leather and the, the interior, like sort of how it's been trimmed, goes well and it's all, it all ties in with the whole car. I do like the gear shifter, which kind of looks like the Volkswagen equivalent of the sort of a Falterback logo, but also the inside the engine bay is so clean. All the like washer fluid bottles and all the detritus that you don't really need in the engine bay is all gone. So you've just got the engine there, and I guess everything else must be maybe in the boot or something like that. Or I, don't, I mean, I don't know where where else you'd put it, but the car is awesome. It's so clean. The metallic paint. I mean, obviously the interior purple goes really well with the dark sort of midnight purple. It is all a lot to take in, but we have finally made it to the final sort of area of three. Now, I just, I, I've just got no words for some of these cars in here. I mean, highly, highly, highly modified cars. You can just, you can, it's so obvious that an insane amount of money has been spent on all these cars. Now, I think all that's left for me to do is just, I think I'll just need to turn the camera around and just shut up for a second just so that you can fully appreciate the, the time, effort and money and insanity that has gone into all these bills. I mean, some of these bills would have been like a full-time job. It's just in... It's just, it's just, ah!
Telford International Centre where obviously oh, the end of the M135R. Oh, is that going to do a grip behind me just as well? sounds nice I don't know whether you will have heard that on the camera but anyway we've just come out of Telford International Centre we kind of like a bucket full of fuel just came out of the exhaust there as well it's obviously overfueling like mad I, I have no words for the ridiculousness that some of those builds have gone through I mean the money and the the rarity of some of the cars as well which is really impressive but we're just actually walking to meet the other people that we came with. My brother and his girlfriend and some other people that they know that they've met here. Uh, I haven't eaten since uh, last night, so we're going to find Nando's nearby. So we're going to have some food. So we've actually just come back in from having a bit of food, so I'm not hungry anymore, which is, uh, which is always good. We've just come back in to have another look around, just to get some more BOR shots. And actually, I didn't realise that I missed a whole haul which is a carpeted hall of uh, more amazing bits. I don't know if there's any difference between that hall and the other hall, but I mean, maybe these are a bit more special. They look a bit more spread out in, in the layout of the thing. But anyway, we're going to venture in there now and just more, more insanity. It just keeps going on and 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 on. Now, there's obviously a reason why this is all separated from the rest. I mean, these are high, high value or like really, really nice nice like amazing builds and I mean they're all in absolutely pristine condition I mean going from those halls I didn't think you could get much pristina is that even a word I don't know I just I'm getting too excited over all this I just oh, oh just uh, 9993 GT 911 GT it's just insane and I mean there's I think the main reason why this room is extra special is because um, they got a Mark IV Golf Estate said already, it's just the most ridiculous car show I've ever been to, I think. I mean, all this noise and ridiculously, ridiculously modded cars in the most ludicrous ways you can ever think of. Anyway, I mean, I'll say it once more, it's an awesome car show, so if you like the video, don't forget to hit like down below and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on future episodes. And don't forget to subscribe as well. And I'll catch you in the next one.